Join a family as they receive firearms training for the very first time. This is Ruger American New Shooter Academy Season 2, presented by DeSantis. Hey, this is Kyle with Ruger American New Shooter Academy and we're back on the range and we are going to shoot some handguns. So let's let's uh, first start out with a 22. So uh, I'm going to give you this this is the uh, this is the Ruger 22 that we're going to use. So SR22, the safety's here. So this may be a little bit different than other ones you've used, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it pointed up and down range. This is our firing box. We are only going to shoot from in the box. Mm -hmm. That keeps me safe, you safe. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm just going to have you grip the gun and I'm gonna have you press out and get a sight picture. And we're just going to shoot one time at the same target. So you shoot one time, come back down, push it out again, find a new sight picture. We'll shoot one time again, we'll shoot five rounds. So I'm gonna put this on safe for you, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm gonna hand you that. Um, I'm gonna drop the slide for you, okay? So it's gonna go forward. Remember this is a 22, 22 long rifle, shoots really easy, no recoil, step into the box. Okay, now what I want you to do is before we load the weapon, I want you to just push out and I want you to get that sight picture. This has three dots, so we line all three dots up until the center dot is on the target we want to shoot and press the trigger. However, we also have the top of this bar and the top of this sight. See what I'm talking about? So when you fill this rear notch with that sight, it should fill up that block with equal space on the sides and aligned with the top. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. All right. I'm going to put my ears on. And... I do have one question. Oh, sure. Go ahead. So I shoot with both eyes open when I'm shooting my shotgun? Yes. Do I do that with this? Absolutely. Um, are you right eye dominant? Do you shoot right handed on a shotgun? I shoot right handed. Do you look through your right eye? Have you ever closed your left eye and still never. been able to see the sights? I never close my eyes. Okay. Like... Close your left eye right now. Can you still see the sights? I see it better. Okay. Now open them again. Close your right eye. Are they aligned? No. You're right eye dominant. <laughs> so, so that's fine. So you can shoot with both eyes. Um, both eyes is a preferable method to shoot. Okay. All right, so um, let me hold the pistol real quick. Go ahead and put your Thank ears you. on. I'll give it back to you. Again, deep in the saddle, fingers around. Fill the void with the other hand. There you go. Thumbs locked. I'm going to go to my ears. All right, now here's your magazine. Okay, so with the left hand, we're going to insert the magazine into the bottom there. Push it till it seats all the way. Okay. Now I want you to rotate the pistol and reach over and see these cocking serrations. So I want you to slide that slide back and then just let it go. Slide it all the way back till it stops and let it go. One motion. There you go. Let it go. And bump it forward because you didn't quite let it go fast enough. There you go. That's fine. Okay. Now the pistol is now uh, on safe but loaded. So what we're going to do is slide that that's your safety. Slide it up with your thumb. You can just reach up with your thumb or your finger, whatever. Now lock both hands around the pistol like you were. Finger off the trigger until we're ready. I want you to go ahead and present it out like we talked about. Look for those three dots. Okay, you got those three dots and they line them up. I want you to pick one. I want you to pick the center target. They'll shoot at the big one first, okay? Once you're ready, move your finger to the trigger. And again, a gentle press while you keep all three dots in line and, and the middle dot the front sight post right on the center of the target. Okay, this shot's gonna be easier to shoot because the first shot you actually had to draw the hammer back on that double action system, but now it's gonna to go to a single action. So this shot, the trigger pull is gonna be much, much easier. Okay, so just wanted to let you know because it's gonna be a little bit different. So go ahead and press out again, find that same sight picture. Don't concentrate so hard. Don't fight yourself on getting rigid with your muscles. Try to stay relaxed. There you go. Again, three dots. Concentrate on where that front sight post is. It should be right in the middle of the target. Much better. All right, and that's your five. So when we get done, good job. Put it on safe. Look down in here. You can see there's nothing in the barrel and in the chamber, and there's nothing in the magazine, so the weapon's clear. I'll take it and let's talk about what we got here. So, um, first three shots uh, went a little high, a little right, okay? Typically, that's you having a good sight picture, but you're pulling it over that way on your trigger. You took the last, the number four shot, which is more in the center, pretty quickly. 
Um, I don't think you had enough time to really worry about jerking that trigger over. You kind of made a good trigger reset and you hit in the middle. The second one you concentrated a little again and we pulled it over. Super common. So being, being able to, being able to uh, uh, take that trigger and press it straight back, you have to be cognizant of how much of your finger is on the trigger. I was shaking because I was nervous. Yes. And then I was also being really type A because I wanted to be perfect. <laughs> and then um, you were coaching me and I relaxed and, and, and you that did. was when I had the better shot. Okay. Um, that makes me feel great. I hope it makes you feel great. Okay, so now we shot the 22 and we refined our mechanics a little bit. So we're gonna make an upgrade. We're gonna go shoot the nine millimeter. So we're gonna take a look at this. All right, so this is a Ruger Security 9. Okay, very similar to what you just had, but remember the long trigger pull we had on the 22 to begin with that double action pull before it got easier on the single action this one doesn't have that this one the trigger pulls the same every time take that weapon and i want you to get a good grip on it remember we're going to drive our hand up into the saddle we're going to take the meaty portion of our thumb and we're going to cover up that space and now rotate your gun and i want you to find the sight picture because the sight picture is going to be a little bit different so just rotate it and point at the target and you can see that Sight picture a little different than this. You don't have the three dots. The two dots are missing here in the back. You've got a notch, right? So what you're doing now is centering this dot in the notch. You should have equidistance on either side of space. And the flat part here should match the flat part there. Take this, goes in the bottom. Good, see it all the way up. Now, um, the easiest way is to pull on your slide and let it go forward. So rotate your gun. Take this hand, pull the slide back, and let it go. Just a little bit. It's a little harder to pull than the 22. There you go. So, meaty portion of the thumb in there, wrap the fingers. Now, what we want to do is we're gonna exactly shift a little bit. Nice, you got in that position again. That's good stable position that lets you help you absorb that recoil. Concentrate right on the center of that target and make sure that front dot is, is perfectly aligned with that back notch. Ah, anticipating that trigger. Pull easy, easy. You shouldn't know when it's going to go off. How about that? So again, squeeze that trigger. You shouldn't know when it's going to go Nice. I want you to transfer out to the farther piece of steel. Change your sight picture. If you need to change your footing a little bit, that's fine. Now, a little longer shot, a little harder target. So I want you to concentrate on that sight picture. Press that trigger slowly until it breaks. You shouldn't know when it's gonna break. Little high, little right, that's okay. Don't adjust for it. Concentrate on your trigger. Little bit right, you're almost there. Go back and find that sight picture. Very easy. It's all right, little bit right again. So, check your chamber, check your magazine. Drop your magazine, give it to me. And holster back into here. All right, so first two shots right there on the steel, that's great. So again, if we took what we learned here on the paper and translated it out, if you're aiming at the center there, you struck a little right and a little low. On the paper here, you struck a little right and a little low. So that either means that your mechanics make you shoot there and you need to adjust a little bit of mechanics, or as you shoot more and more and you continue that pattern with good mechanics, then you know you need to adjust your sights. But I know you wanted to hit it really I know. bad. That's really good. <laughs> okay, That's thank really you. good. I really appreciate no, it. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to help. So there you have it. Uh, novice shooter, right on steel, first time. Hope you enjoyed it.